It's great to be here today. I, I cannot hold a candle to you as far as a joke, so I'm not even going to try there. But uh, I want to thank everybody for coming today. I can't say enough. I know, uh, first of all, I'm going to introduce a few people here. I know one guy's got to leave here right away. Uh, Bill Chaves, our new athletic director. Uh, first year uh, at, at North Dakota being our AD. Um, we're going to show him a show that he hasn't seen before in, in North Dakota hockey. So again, we're very excited about that going forward. Uh, just a little about Bill, and I think you guys already know him uh, from his press conference and from coming here, but he, he does have a hockey background in the fact that he's a huge Hartford Whaler fan back in the NHL. So as you know, Hartford Whalers are in Carolina now, and uh, I thought that he probably already knows because he's a diehard fan, but they're bringing out the retro jerseys this year. The old whale are coming back, and they're going to throw them in Carolina for a game or two. So I imagine he'll have that in his closet uh, at some point in time here. But we're uh, excited about having Bill here. Uh, President Kenny had to leave, too. I want to thank him, obviously, for having belief in our staff going forward here uh, with North Dakota, uh, yeah, with our program here. And again, uh, very, very gracious and uh, blessed to be going, taking this program to another level. Uh, I want to get into some introductions here. First of all, the media. I want to thank you guys. Without you guys, it's, we are nothing. Uh, you guys give the exposure to our program on a national level like no other. Uh, uh, the print media, the, the radio, the TV, um, in-house here at the Ralph Ingolstadt Arena, you guys do an unbelievable job of putting us up on a pedestal and promoting our, uh, our game. So again, thank you very much for what you do. Um, the uh, staff of North Dakota, hockey here, um, really blessed to have those people on staff and I'm just going to go through the table here really quickly. Dane Jackson and uh, Matt Shaw, uh, they've been with us for a few years here now. Those guys are relentless as far as what they do on and off the ice. They just came back, you know, sat, you talk about sacrifice, you know, giving up the weekends uh, with your family to go on the road to all these showcases. And it's just not one or two months of the year, it's, it's 12 months a year of doing this. So again, very blessed to have those guys giving their expertise on the ice and the coaching part, part of it, but the recruiting part is unbelievable and those guys are great. Um, and then obviously the, uh, the other guys at our table, uh, they were here for the last few years. Obviously, Doc, you've been here a long time, Doc Greek. Again, very uh, honored to have you part of our staff on a daily basis. You know, a guy that comes on the road trips with us. And again, he, he genuinely cares about our group, so thank you. Mark Pullman, same thing. Uh, Mark Pullman is kind of a multifaceted uh, person in the fact that he's our uh, medical trainer and our strength coach, so uh, he can do it all. If, uh, so again, thank you for what you do. And uh, Whitney Duden, um, our administrative assistant, uh, thank you for everything that you do in, in, the, uh, in our part of the world. And we have a new guy, Dan Johansson. Um, Eric Kupka left our program last year, and Dan Johansson is our new head equipment guy, and he's outstanding. Uh, using a baseball analogy, he's a home run of a person, and as far as his work ethic, guys love him, and he, and he does a great job. So again, uh, we're, out, we're excited about having Dan in our group here. Uh, I want to thank the REA group, uh, the REA uh, uh, group here that, uh, that we come here on a daily basis and you got to pinch yourself because they're, they're unbelievable as far as support with Jody Hodgson and the staff. Thanks for the meal today, what they do for us uh, on a daily basis and uh, his staff here is always uh, asking us what we need or what we, will, what we need to get to the next level and again uh, it, it starts with the guy at the top and that's Jody Hodgson. A uh, little bit about our group going forward here. We invited our captains and, uh, and, our, and our seniors here today, and there was a group of about six players in that role uh, that, that got invited today. I only see two of them here, and you, that's a good sign. Okay, we got Nick Jones and we got Joel Jan between it. That means they're in class, and that means that they're, uh, you know, not only doing it on the ice, but we have a high expectation of graduating and, and getting a great degree here at North Dakota. Who's the other guy? Did he slide in here? Okay, there he is. He wasn't here originally, so obviously he must have just came from class. So we got half of the six guys. Uh, that tells me that they do the things on and off the ice the right way at a high level. And while we're on the side of it, talking about our team, that's, that's one thing that we're really, really excited about. There's a number of things that I'm going to get to that we're excited about, but our leadership group is outstanding. It's impeccable. It starts with Colton Pullman. We have Nick Jones, Joel Janetween, and that are here. But the three other guys that aren't here today, uh, they are part of our group that are going to lead us the right way as far as what we need to get to. And that's hopefully hanging one of those things, one of those green banners at the end of the year. Um, our group. Uh, we have a group here that consists of five seniors, seven juniors, eight sophomores, and six freshmen. So that's a group that's kind of spread out. 
Normally, you know, in our group, uh, you might have a group that has nine or ten freshmen coming in. That's not, not the case this, mean, that's this year. That means that some of our players are coming back for their senior year, and that's a big deal. You know, in our world, when, you know, we have draft picks and guys that have an opportunity to leave, they usually leave after two or three years, and I'll give you a situation this year. Rhett Gardner told us he's coming back for his senior year, and that was early uh, in, in the springtime when he did that. And that says a statement about, you know, his time here at North Dakota and how special it is. You know, we had guys come back for a pro camp here in September, uh, end of August, beginning of September, and you could see the look in their eyes or the words that come out of their mouth, how special it is. Until you leave North Dakota, you don't really know what you have. And again, it's great to have guys that are going to come back and spend their senior year here and do something special. Um, this year, we lost a couple of players, uh, we're talking about signing pro contracts. We lost Christian Willana to the... Uh, uh, Ottawa Senators organization, we lost Cam Johnson, he was a senior, we lost him, and then Shane Gersuch, he signed with the Washington Capitals and won a cup at the end of the year. Those are two guys that, uh, you know, took a lot of minutes from our team as far as we're impactful players for our team. But in saying that, we have a lot of great players here that are going to take the opportunity and, and, and take those minutes and get us to that next level. So this year, between the freshmen that are coming in and, and the players that are coming back here, there's going to be opportunity. There's going to be competition, but there's going to be a lot of opportunity within, within our group here. Our decor, uh, the championship year about three years ago, we had a lot of depth on the back end. We have eight qualified defensemen that could be guys, guys in the lineup on a daily basis. So that means you only can dress six, possibly seven with the new rule change of the extra player. So again, there's going to be a lot of competition at the back end and as far as guys that are uh, able and willing to play here. A um, couple more things before I want to get going here. Uh, Last year was the first year out of, I believe it was 15 or 16 years, we didn't, we didn't make the national tournament. And that didn't really sit well in our stomach here. Uh, expectations are high. We know that. Uh, and it's one of those things that we want to make sure that we check all the boxes of what we want to do. And it seems like it's repetitious every year I come up here, but that's a recipe for success as far as doing the process on a daily basis to check those boxes. Some of those boxes are home ice advantage, which we attained last year, getting down to the frozen face-off, which we did, and we were one or two games away last year from making the national tournament. And again, we find that you have to make sure that every single game counts, meaning that we had, I think, double-digit double digit ties last year. That means we didn't close out games to win games last year. We've got to find a way to do that and do that early. We cannot rely on going down to the frozen face-off and, uh, and trying to get in the national tournament in the last week of the season. So those are some of the things that we've got to get to. We've got a group that's hungry, committed, hardworking. They came in here six weeks in the summer trained extremely hard, they went to class for six weeks, got six credits, they worked out extremely hard together, they bonded as a team, that carried over in the month of September. It, it's because of the leadership group here. The leadership group has pushed the bar. Um, we have kind of a saying here, it's internal right now, and we're not gonna divulge too much into it, but it's one of those things where, you know what, we've got a clean slate, we're blanking at, at ground level, and we're starting again. And again, we're gonna try to get back on that path again, and it's gonna start on a daily basis. Lastly, I have something about uh, our group, our mentality. Mark Pullman, who, like I said before, does an unbelievable job. We have a, a board in the weight room downstairs, and he has two things on it that he brought to light. It's prepare for the opportunity, and it's we get to do this. And I thought it's only fitting with this group here because it's our mentality, and I can see it in the eyes every single day, is that, you know what, we got a lot of guys that are challenging to be out on, the, on that ice. Will all 26 of our guys be on the, on the ice on a game? No, because you only can dress 20, 21 players now. But you know what? You have to prepare for that opportunity. When you get that chance, prepare for that opportunity. And then the last one is we get to do this. When you really look at it, um, we get to come into this facility. We get to be part of the University of North Dakota. And we get to be part of something very, very special. And, uh, and, and it's not like we have to do this. It's we get to do this on a daily basis. You got to feel blessed that you get to be a part of this. And again, our guys realize that. So in closing, I just want to uh, uh, acknowledge just a couple more people here before I get going. We go downstairs for a little bit of uh, Q&A. The athletic department, I failed to mention them earlier, but they're a huge part of it. And I can't begin to start with Jason Hadjido and his staff. I go to uh, Karen Compliance. I go to Amanda with our education side of it. You know, whenever somebody's got a hiccup or not doing really well in school, you know, Amanda's the one over there that gets them on the tri train tracks again as far as on, on the road to the, have an academic success. We have a lot of support through the athletic department that I want to make sure that you know that they're a big part of our group. And then lastly, to, uh, to congratulate a couple people here, 
uh, Tim Hennessy, Master of Ceremonies today, 40 years doing what he does. And again, that's, uh, that's unreal. And again, we're, we're honored to have him being a part of our group, and he does such a great job when he's on the radio. So again, uh, we want to get you to 50. So stay healthy, we want to get you to 50. And then Virg Foss, uh, going back a long way when Dane and I played here at North Dakota, 49 years for Verge Foss. So again, thanks again, Verge, for what you do. And, uh, and obviously, Brad Schlossman and, and doing what he uh, did, taking over for Verge there, doing an unbelievable, unbelievable job. So again, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. It's going to be a fantastic year, a lot of energy, and it starts, all starts with those guys in the corner there, uh, our hockey players. So thanks again.